Hello guys. Welcome to Tech Saga Smart Solution. Today we are here to show you how to install Java, Eclipse and Edit Plus software, which is very useful for testing and coding. And please install the software according to my instruction. Yes. Before installing the software I need you people to know which operating system you are using. So to know which kind of operating system you are using just right click on this PC. And select properties. Here you can see the device specification. And windows specification. And it is of 64 bit operating system or 32 bit operating system done guys if your windows operating system is of 64 bit you need to download 64 bit java software and if your windows operating system is of 32 bit you need to download 32 bit java software i will download 64 bit java software because my windows operating system is 64 bit so guys there is no need to worry of downloading the java software you people can download the java software from the official website or from the link which i have given below once the download is done please save the files on desktop guys done so let us move to the installation process and the first part is the installation of java Java is a general purpose, class based, object oriented programming language designed for having lesser implementation dependencies. It is a computing platform for application development. Java is fast, secure, and reliable, therefore, it is widely used for developing Java applications in laptops, data centers, game consoles, scientific supercomputers, cell phones, etc. And we are installing the stable version of Java that is Java 8. Now double click on Java setup file. And click on yes. And the Java SE development kit 8 update 1622 setup will appear now click on next and the path will be automatically build the path in C drive and click on next the installation process begins Now you will be getting a destination folder option and it will be automatically build the path to C drive. And click on next. Java SE Development Kit 8 Update 1622 is successfully installed and click on close. Now this is the very important step that is to set the path of the Java in environment variables. Now you go to C drive 
Program Files Java JDK 1.8.0 underscore 162 Bin To this destination folder And copy the destination path Now right click on this PC and click on Properties Now go to Advanced System Settings You will get a pop-up of System Properties there in startup and recovery you will find environment variables now click on environment variables under system variables select the path and click on new enter the new system variable name as path and paste the path which you had copied and click on ok click on ok and again click on ok Now go to command prompt and type java hyphen version it will be showing you the java installed version. Again type java c and click enter in the last line at file name shlold come then only the installation and adding the path to environment variables has been set successfully. Guys now let us install the 7-zip software. This software is the most user friendly software which is used to extract the zipped or compressed folder. Right click on 7-zip software. And run as administrator. And click install so by default the path will automatically be selected to C drive. Done. Now it will ask to restart the system. And click on yes. The PC gets restarted. And 7-zip has been successfully installed. Guys now let us install the Eclipse software. Eclipse is an integrated development environment, IDE, used in computer programming. It contains a base workspace and an extensible plug-in system for customizing the environment. It was one of the first IDEs to run under GNU class path and it runs without problems under ICE-T. Now get back to the downloaded folder. Here you can see Eclipse Oxygen. And Eclipse Photon. It will be in zipped folder. Now just right click on Eclipse Oxygen. There you can see 7-zip, and select extract here and the file is being extracted, and saved as folder Eclipse. Now open the Eclipse folder, and here you can see the Eclipse icon. Now right click on the Eclipse icon, and select the send to, and click on desktop. So it will be creating a shortcut on the desktop. This process should be done after the installation of Java. And now the Eclipse is ready to open. When you open the Eclipse it will go to Eclipse Launcher. And you can see the workspace taken by automatically. Now click on launch. Guys done Eclipse has been successfully installed and ready to use. Guys let us install edit plus software. 
Edit Plus is a text editor, HTML editor, PHP editor, Java editor, and hex viewer for Windows. While it can serve as a good notepad replacement, it also offers many powerful features for web page authors and programmers. Now go back to downloaded folder. Now double tap on Edit Plus software and click on Accept and it will open the administrative page and click on Yes. By default the path will be automatically created. Now click on Start Copy. Congratulations! Setup has been completed successfully and click on OK. And now go to Desktop. And you can see the Edit Plus icon shortcut has been created. Now open the Edit Plus software. It will be asking for registration code. Don't worry I have created activation software. Go to the software folder. There you will see Edit Plus Activator. Double click on Activator and click on Yes. The Edit Plus Activator have been successfully added to the registry. Yes now you are ready to open the Edit Plus and it will not be asking for activation. Guys done Edit Plus has been successfully installed and ready to use. I hope you guys liked this video and it was really helpful for you. Tech Saga will always be there for you to get the issues resolved. Guys don't forget to like and share this video. Please subscribe this channel for more videos and click on bell button. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.